Hello and welcome to Quick Expert Reviews. AFMF2 is officially available on the ROG Ally and ROG Ally X. You can either download it through my ASUS or through the AMD ROG website. Um, no more side loading, no more DDU display driver on installer. I will drop the link in the video description below and in the comments as well, so it's easier to navigate. But basically, you click the link, you go onto drivers and tools, driver and tools, you choose your ROG Ally X or ROG Ally, uh, make sure Windows 11 is selected, and then you scroll further down to graphics, which says that it adds support for AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 or AFMF to um, for short. Now you can also read more about AFMF. Now do bear in mind this article is from April 24 when the first generation AFMF was introduced. Um, now this is the second generation which does definitely do bring significant improvements especially into um, input lag. But in order to access that you open the AMD Adrenaline software, you choose the game you want to fire um, the uh, AFMF2 on. You do, do have to change the gaming experience to custom. It doesn't work with default, but it does work with Hi HyperX FX. And then you have to turn it on. Now, the first game I'm going to try on is Helldivers 2. Uh, this is with AFMF2 um, switched off. These are my graphic settings. Do make sure that the display mode is in full screen, not borderless full screen, borderless full screen, and that the VSync is off. As you can see, it's a mix of high and medium. And with the anti aliasing off, um, I've noticed that the anti aliasing uh, takes a huge, uh, the frames take a huge um, hit when it's on. Um, so, yes, just to uh, reiterate, we are actually playing uh, with the AFMF2 switched off. So, as you can see, I am uh, getting around 30 to 40 um, frames per second on these settings. Yes, you can um, get around 60 without AFMF2. However, you'd have to drop the um, display settings down to either Steam Deck or low. Um, definitely not on high. I do apologize, it is recorded like that with my camera facing the ROG Ally X. Um, I know the quality isn't the greatest, and again, my apologies. I've tried to record the screen with OBS, and while everything works, I could not get the um, AMD Adrenaline overlay, which you can see in the top right corner, to work with OBS. So it does record the screen, unfortunately, it didn't show us the numbers. And as we know, brain works like numbers go high, brain happy. So at the minute we are running at around 40 frames per second. Now we're gonna turn the AMD Fluid Motion frames to and fire up um, Helldivers 2 again. As you've seen, we did have the overlay telling us that, not tailing, <laughs> telling us that the fluid motion frames are on. And as you can see straight away, we are up to 60, 70 frames per second, which is amazing. Um, and the input lag is very, very, very low, which means that this is actually now playable experience versus the first generation of AMD um, fluid motion frames. Now, what do what does AMD fluid motion frames actually do? It's like a frame generation technology um, that, as you can see, is designed to increase frame rates and smoothness um, of the game's performance. So it does utilize AI to generate some frames and um, obviously um, improve the experience. Now, I'm going to fire up a barrage as well in a second. Um, as you've seen, I did uh, drop a 500 kilo bomb just to, you know, um, get some of that CPU and GPU to work and give us some nice fireworks. 
as you can see frames are not dropping below 60 which is nice which is actually very nice um, like I said, I know Helldivers isn't such a demanding game, especially on low. However, in my opinion, um, playing it on high does bring that experience a bit closer to what we'd like to get. Now, the next game I keep on playing since 2018 is Fallout 76. And historically, this game um, has had quite an abysmal performance on the ROG Ally. Uh, you'd have to edit the ini files, turn the vsync off, um, and and whatnot, just to get around 40, 50 frames per second. Now, as you can see, we are in the hundreds. Uh, not always, however, again, over 60 frames per second, which is nice, and you can actually adjust some of the video settings to medium and high, which, again, is brilliant and what we want, because... Um, I know that ROG Ally X and the ROG Ally have only around 7-inch screens, 1080p, but still we would like some more um, quality in, on our games. Now I'm going to turn off the um, AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. What a mouthful! Um, and show you how it actually runs or doesn't uh, without it. And as you can see, we are dropping down to between... 25 to 40 frames per second like i did say uh fallout 76 performance have been quite abysmal um which is um what i kind of got used to with some of the bethesda titles but hey ho yeah this is without the afmf and last but not least cyberpunk 2077 again um afmf2 switched on the game itself does have FSR and the frame generation built in, which is always nice. But I don't know what's going on with CD Projekt Red. The performance is quite abysmal. So this is actually running on Intel XS, X -E -S -S. Um, everything on medium, some of the bits on high. Um, and we are getting around 50, 60 frames per second. As you can see, which again is quite nice. Um, I mean, running Cyberpunk 2077 on handheld is is a definitely a decent experience. But obviously, uh, we want a bit more frames. And fun fact: when it comes to Cyberpunk and frames, um, I've actually finished Cyberpunk on uh, Stadia. May have Lord have mercy on uh, its soul or her soul. Um, because this was actually one of the two platforms you could actually play uh, with higher frame rates um, on apart from PC. Um, and this is with the AMD Fluid Motion frames to switched off. So as you can see, around 40, 30, 40 frames per second. So it's not such a significant difference um, between 40 and 60 like you had in Helldivers 2 and Fallout 76, where it jumped from 40 to 70 or 40 to even 100. Absolutely no idea what's going on in here with the performance as well. It is dropping significantly. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye!